Guess what time it is? It's time for fall! So I am so excited for today's video, you guys. This is going to really introduce us into the fall feels on my channel here. And it is going to be my fall and technically Halloween wish list from Bath and Body Works and a few different places that sell, you know, candles, body care, wax, all that good stuff. So I have a little presentation that I've created for you guys in Canva, and I'm so excited to show you through all of the scents that I'm interested in this fall. I have already picked some stuff up, so you should see a haul coming soon. If it's not already out, I'll link it if it is, but I'm so excited. So let's get right on into it. All right, you guys, so here is my fall 2023 wish list. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna walk through some body care. I really only have stuff from Bath & Body Works on here, but I do wanna mention that I do want to try the new Tree Hut Coffee Body Scrub. I've heard that it's a different scent from last year. I actually still have one left over from last year, um, so I can kind of compare those. So I will be picking that up pretty soon, as well as I think I'm gonna pick up the, um, what's the cream? body cream. I think it's coffee and cream or mm, I'll put it right here. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the cream and coffee set that comes from Tree Hut. Anyways, I want to pick up that and I do also want to pick up another OGX coconut and coffee body wash and scrub because it's one of my favorites and I loved it so much last fall. So those two are on my list, but I am just going to talk about Bath and Body Works for now. Let me know if you guys have anything else that you would recommend down below. I know Sol de Janeiro just came out with like a night collection um spray should i go sniff that like let me know anyways okay we are starting off with together weather now i smelled this only once in store so i'm not quite sure but i want to start with one formula and then see how i like it but together weather is blushing breeze sugared cardamom and soft cedar when i smelled it it smelled definitely more you know like fruity but a little sophisticated not quite like a vampire blood fruity vampire blood i love it actually I do have it in the shower gel that I've been using for a little bit, and it is a wonderful scent, but it is very kitty kind of um, berry. It is a very sweet, sticky berry versus this one is more of a sophisticated scent. I think it's that um, like cedar, whatever a blushing breeze smells like, I have no idea, but to me, it is a slightly floral um, berry scent, but I would like it pretty much in every uh, scent formula. Um, I definitely want to try the body wash first because that's usually what I like the most and from there I'll kind of see what I like the most, but I've been just waiting for a good sale I actually like missed the last sale that they had which was actually pretty good I think it was like $5.95 or something So I'm just waiting for the next sale and I'll pick something up and from there I'll figure out if I like it So very excited about that one and then for the rest of the fall body care. I'm not really interested in too much um, I did already pick up some so you'll see that soon but um, leaves, I really wanna try leaves in its first iteration as body care. That makes me pretty excited. The notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. I have to say, I smelled that in store already. It smells exactly like the candle. It's a little too masculine for me, but I do wanna pick it up for Ryan to use because I feel like it's gonna be a really nice scent. And I just personally wanna experience leaves at least once in body care. So I'm gonna pick that up for him. And then the Coco Shea Rich Moisture line, I'm actually really interested in because I've missed out on Coco Shea in the past, but this one sounds really yummy to me, especially when it's dry and cold here. So I do want to pick up the Body Butter and the Moisturizing Body Wash. I feel like those formulas would be really nice to use in the winter, just when my skin is extra dry. And then I do have the newest line on here, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. I haven't yet smelled it, but the notes are Warm Bourbon, Dark Fruit, and Vanilla Liqueur. It smells like warm, soothing, and inviting. So I've heard that this smells pretty good, that it is kind of similar to other things that we've had in the past. So you guys let me know if you've smelled this before. I have not, but I would definitely be interested in picking it up. It sounds like it's right down my alley. It's a vanilla scent, which is like my favorite. So I'm really interested in that one and the packaging is just gorgeous. All right, let's go to some candles. So I went by like different lines on here, but this is primarily Bath & Body Works three wick candles. I kind of want to go ham this fall. I want to go full ham, <laughs> full tilt. So I am looking at flannel. I've had, actually, I think all three of these I've had before. So flannel is fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. Just a wonderful, sophisticated 
manly fall scent. I don't know how else to describe that. It's so nice. And on the nights where I'm craving something like that, not like gourmand or anything, the flannel is so good. Now switching totally opposite sides of the spectrum, pumpkin pecan waffles. This is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. If you've never tried pumpkin pecan waffles, you need to try it. This is one that is especially special to me because this reminds me of living with my college roommates back in college and just having so much fun with them and chilling on like Sundays, Sunday nights or Monday nights watching The Bachelor around, just like all cuddled up around our couch, all five of us, because yes, I lived with five people. But this one I love to burn during like football games or on the weekends, just when I wanna feel super cozy. So I, I need pumpkin pecan waffles at least once every fall. So that one is a must for me. And then we have mahogany apple, which actually turned out to be one of Ryan's favorite scents. We've gotten it the past two years, actually. It's really, really good. It's red mahogany woods, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, and fresh lavender sprigs. I think this is a great take on an apple scent. If you're not like a super fruity person, you'll really like this. Um, it's also a really nice take on mahogany teakwood. If mahogany teakwood is too strong for you, this one will actually be really nice because they switch it up a little bit by adding in that apple fruit and I think it smells really great. And then from similar line, but like the frosted glass, we have cinnamon spice vanilla. I've been just craving a super, super simple vanilla scent lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like the hot weather and I'm not quite ready for pumpkin yet, but this one I am craving so bad. It is fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. I've had this one before. It's a very simple scent. It's like a five out of 10 on throw. It's not too strong, but I really want something soft and light to burn in the mornings mostly and maybe burn alongside something else like a coffee candle or like a bakery candle and just like amplify the scent. It's so yummy when you uh, burn this one next to something else and like amplify the vanilla in it. It's so good. So that one I really want. And then sweater weather, which is fresh, fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic lip eucalyptus girl i can't talk and fresh woods this is another like more masculine kind of scent but this is a very fresh scent which is also really good for november december and going into even january and february when it's still kind of cold i really like sweater weather as just kind of like a general fall to winter kind of scent this one is really nice in november especially so that's why i'm really looking at that brief intermission to talk about my new stanley cup <laughs> i got it at dick's sporting goods and my boyfriend actually bought it for me, so thank you, Ryan. Um, yeah, isn't it so cute? It matches my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to point out my little pumpkin spice latte earrings from Target last year. Um, I'll just go through what I'm wearing. This is an Amazon headband, Amazon little initial necklace, and then my little sweater vest is actually from TJ Maxx. So, love that. Okay, anyways, back to the candles. <laughs> so I've got the kind of Vera Bradley-esque collection up right here. And I'm really interested in these three. So berry, Blueberry Pumpkin Patch is the first one that I'm interested in. I've heard so much hype around this coming back. So this one smells like farm fresh blueberries, ripe pumpkin, and autumn spice. I think blueberry is kind of the perfect scent to transition you into more warm, spicy gourmands for the fall because blueberry is really like a year round kind of scent. But for me, it's more of a summer kind of scent. I definitely eat a lot more blueberries in the summer. Plus Ryan loves blueberries, so it's one of his favorite scents. So I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. And then we have freshly brewed coffee, which smells like fresh coffee beans and steamed milk. I did smell this in stores actually, and it is literally just Paris Cafe. So there's nothing special about that one. I might end up returning it because I have another coffee scent on this list that you'll see later that I might like better. So we'll see. Um, and then there's also apple macchiato, which is Washington spiced apples, a hint of cinnamon, caramel drizzle, and frothed milk. So this one I think smells like the epitome of fall. I used to think that, um, actually it's the next candle. I used to think that Harvest Gathering smelled like the epitome of fall, but no, I think it's apple macchiato now. It just smells so wonderfully spicy apple. It just smells so good. So that is one on my list that I haven't tried yet, but I'm very excited to try. And you guys already kind of saw a preview of this one, but pumpkin cinnamon bun is also another one that I haven't had a chance yet to try, even though it's been out for two years already. This is the third year it's come out. The notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. Yeah, I'm just excited to smell cinnamon rolls baking in my house. 
when they're not even baking. <laughs> that sounds so yummy to me. And then we have Harvest Gathering, which is my favorite November scent. This is Thanksgiving in a candle. The notes are fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. This is like what you think of when you walk into like Joann's during the fall or Michael's during the fall. Like this is fall in a candle. If you want to smell those wonderful, delicious, warm, spicy, like nutmeggy, but still with that like apple, heavy appleness. So this is my quintessential Thanksgiving candle. It comes out every November without fail. It is so good. So if you have not tried Harvest Gathering, I totally recommend getting it, burning it in November. You are going to love it. Okay. So now we're going on to unreleased candles. Now these are actually already in stores, but I did make this slide a little before that they came out. Um, but I was really looking forward to Champagne Apple and Honey in the three wick because I adore it in the body care. And I had it a few years ago when it first came out in the candle and I loved it. It smells spot on to the body care. The scent notes are the exact same and it smells exactly alike, which is sometimes not heard of in the body care versus candle. So I love champagne, apple, and honey, and it's the perfect like bedroom scent for the fall. I love it so much. It's just like so fresh and, and inviting. So love that one. And I do wanna say, love these people on Instagram too, Scents Galore and Candles and Corks. If you don't follow them, you absolutely need to because they're posting the latest stuff, so. Anyways, um, apricot and green fig. I do have the scent notes up for this one. It's apricot, sandalwood, lush fig, and creamy coconut. I smell this one in stores. It smells really good, but it doesn't smell like fall to me. So yeah, I don't really think that I need it, but I would consider picking it up if there was a really good sale. Um, and then we have pumpkin snickerdoodle, which just smells like pumpkin cookies and makes me excited. But maybe it's a little too close to pumpkin cinnamon bun, like we'll see but that's where I'm at with the Bath and Body Works candles. Okay, moving into some Goose Creek, and I'm sorry, one of these pictures is very blurry, so I apologize for that, I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, I'm excited for Goose Creek this year. They're coming out with some really good stuff. So we have apple cider, which I'm really more of an apple-y girl for the most part <laughs> for fall. I love pumpkin, don't get me wrong, but I can only do it when it's like mid-October, mid to late October, so it's, it's a fine line there. But apple cider is spiced apple, warm cider, cinnamon, and harvest spices. It just sounds like a quintessential spiced apple scent. Then we have pumpkin pie, which I have had from Goose Creek before, but that was when they used to do the, the like big jar soy wax candles, but that one was so good. And another amazing Thanksgiving candle, it was just like you were like you were smelling freshly baked pie. It smells so good. So pumpkin pie is vanilla pumpkin, autumn spice, cinnamon nutmeg, baked crust, and warm butter. It smells amazing, and I'm so excited to have that in the three wick now. And then whipped caramel espresso, which I have heard smells like, it was the Seattle candle, and I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll put the name right here because I, I'm thinking of it in my head, but I can't remember it. But there was a candle out from Bath & Body Works that smelled like this. It is roasted coffee, warm caramel, whipped vanilla, and syrup. And that candle I used to have and really loved. It smelled like a like a ice caramel macchiato from Starbucks. That's what it smelled like. It smelled so good. So I'm really excited to have like more of a sweet kind of uh, coffee scent because I'm just used to Paris Cafe. Something else would be really nice. <laughs> and then I've got a few Halloween things on here. So I'm not gonna buy a lot of halloween this year just because last year i bought a ton of things especially like decoration wise so i'm not buying a ton but i am still interested in the pumpkin carving candle just because i want to have something that's like a quintessential pumpkin scent at least one thing this year so that is freshly carved pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds and smooth brown sugar and then vampire blood and the fine fragrance mist i do already have it in the shower gel but Vampire Blood is red berries, night blooming jasmine, and plum. I could not pass up on them doing full size Vampire Blood this year, doing a whole line. So I am gonna pick up the Fine Fragrance Mist. And then I have some Halloween candles on my list from Goose Creek as well. So this first one on the left, Poison Apple, was designed by Ken. It is beautiful. This is Poison Apple, Liqueur, Pecan, Rich Caramel, and Vanilla. That sounds so good. It sounds like a, like a, 
pecan pie, but with like apples mixed in there. That sounds so good. So I'm also considering that for my apple candle. And then we have a few Scooby-Doo candles, which I loved Scooby-Doo growing up. So this is so cute. And I think it's really nice and nostalgic, but Scooby snack, you guys, do you ever have a Scooby snacks? Those were so good. They're like little graham cracker cookies. They're so good. So this is sugar cookie, nutmeg, creamy vanilla, and sugar crystals. Just a basic sugar cookie scent, but I think it's going to be so good. And then we have Attack of the Jack-O-Lantern, which is pumpkin spice muffin, crushed nutmeg, cinnamon sticks, and warm woods. Okay, a pumpkin muffin sounds so yummy. I don't think I've seen anyone do pumpkin muffins. I know we've had banana nut muffin, and I think that's like the only muffin candle I've seen in a while. So excited to try a pumpkin muffin. That sounds so good. All right, we're getting to the honorable mentions, which means we're almost done. But while I'm filming this video, it is not yet September 1st. So Scentsy Wax is definitely on my mind because it's launching on the 1st and I'm definitely going to order stuff, but I don't yet know what I want, um, but I know that I want a lot of stuff. So I'll be making my list over the next couple of days and I'll definitely do a haul for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, Walmart Wax, I actually did do a little haul of Walmart Wax last week. So I will link that. It was in my weekly vlog. If you don't know, I do weekly vlogs and I usually do some like little mini hauls in there. So I did actually get some Walmart fall wax in that haul. Um, Homeworks and Scentworks. So I'm just going to group those two together. But um, I don't know. Homeworks hasn't really released anything that I'm like super jazzed about yet this year. Um, and I believe Scentworks will take a few, maybe another month or another couple of weeks to come out with their fall stuff in like Kohl's and stuff. So I'm interested to see what they come out with, but I haven't seen anything yet that I'm super excited about from them. So I have not yet purchased anything. Okay, so that is everything for my fall wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you were also like writing down your wish list as well. But let me know down below, what are you looking forward to most picking up in this fall season? I know we all prefer different scents, so I'm interested to hear what you guys are thinking about, but that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.